If you've been keeping up with Softer, then you know that they are launching a lot of new features almost weekly, it feels like. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be going over some of their most recent features that just launched last week. So if that's of interest, stick around and let's get into it. Hey, my name is Gareth Pronovost. I am the owner at Gap Consulting, where we help you to organize and automate your business and life. If that's of interest and you want to learn more about it, do check out our website. I will include links in the description of this video. And don't miss our free Airtable crash course to get you up to speed quickly with Airtable. But without further ado, let's just jump right into my screen. We are talking about all of the new features that Softer just recently pushed out very cool things that are coming out from them. And I'm going to start with pricing because, hey, they just made some huge changes to their pricing and it's worth talking about. And if you're going to be building a, you know, resources together here in Softer, then you certainly want to know if it's on budget for you. The nice thing about Softer is they have an incredibly affordable platform depending on what you're trying to do. I really like what they've done with their pricing because it allows you to kind of graduate to the next level step by step with them. So if you're just kind of testing it out, they are, they are keeping a free offer available for you. Uh, this allows you to build unlimited applications, have one collaborator, you, inside of your you know, workspace building, and you get one custom domain. And of course, you're stuck with that softer branding on your site. So this is kind of par for the course, right? If you're doing a free uh, you know, platform or something here, you've got to expect their branding. They do allow you to have a membership. So if you have a membership site, but it's only in test mode. So you can build it. You can't actually turn it on and get it working though. You can also get a paywall, which allows you to either do recurring and or one-time payments. Again though, just like that membership, this is also in test mode. So a pretty robust free plan, but you don't get the bells and whistles and you certainly can't start making money from your site without paying a little bit to softer. But hey, it's a great software. So when you're ready to kick it up, cool. Um, before moving on though, I should say you also do get that Airtable integration only up to 200 records and you get email support from softer support, which I haven't used it personally, but I've heard through the grapevine that it is exceptionally good. Now, stepping it up into the first paid tier, we have the starter plan. And by the way, I am on yearly. You get two months free. If you toggle to monthly, 29 bucks a month. So this allows you, as they say, to create your marketing website, job board, upvoting site, etc. The big difference here is that you're getting a thousand Airtable integrations. You're also getting custom code and uh, live chat support as opposed to email support. But I want to point out that the you know, the uh, membership and the paywall still only in test mode. So starter is great for somebody building a website that is trying to display Airtable data. But if you're doing something more advanced, if you're building some sort of like a user site where people log in, you're not going to get that functionality until you're at the second tier professional. So on that professional tier, that's where you're getting two collaborators. So someone on your team can be working on building this app with you. You also get two custom domains if you need them. You have a membership uh, allotment of up to 10,000 members and Airtable integration up to 10,000 records. A lot of this stuff is the same as what you got on the starter package. But the ones of note here uh, are that you're going to get user roles and the ability to update Airtable records through your own records only inside of this. So this is a big deal. And I should point out this is coming soon, but there's a great chance by the time you watch this video, it's already out because I hear it's a couple of weeks away, if not even sooner. So being able to update that Airtable data, that's a huge deal. And also getting user roles inside of that uh, portal is going to be huge as well. So that professional plan, 79 bucks. Then taking it up to the business plan, their you know, Cadillac version, if you will, gives you field level permission per role, single sign on, um, which is coming soon, uh, updates to Airtable records. You can get up to 100,000 members on your membership site. So there's a lot here, folks. There is definitely a lot here. Uh, depending on where you are, a great uh, solution for building your 
online courses, for you know, building user portals, for building client portals, all kinds of things can be done inside of Softer thanks to their awesome integration with Airtable. So enough about the pricing, let's talk a little bit about the new changes they've made to the detail pages. So if you're not familiar with this, what this allows you to do is essentially access the details of a record. So here I have imagined that somebody logs into this site and they can see their dogs, right? In this case, Tweed and Wyatt. By the way, these are my actual dogs. What good boys, I know. But you can then click into these dogs and get more details from there, right? Because maybe you don't want to display everything at the top level and you want people to click in and get more information. So how does this work? Well, first you build two different pages. In this case, I've got pets and I have pet detail, right? So pets is the high level. It's going to display all the pets that pertain to that account. And then the detail is a layer deeper. So on pets, you simply in this block, go into your action when somebody clicks on this. And so here you can see that when somebody clicks on this, you're going to open a page and that page is the detail page. Pretty straightforward. So in order to take advantage of this details, what you can do is add this block. So go on down to the list of details and whichever of these details you want to add will now give you this rich new ability to add as many different details that you want. So I've gone ahead and popped this new block in. First, of course, you have to link it to your Airtable base and tell it what table this data lives in. No problem there. But then all of these pieces, the heading, the short line text, the tags, all of this can be customized however you want. This is a new feature and you notice that I can now add new fields. So let's go ahead and set this up really quickly. I'll show you how quick and easily it comes together. So I can change the heading here. Let's say instead I want this to be the animal name. And you know, again, this is, this is by default, this particular uh, field setting. I can go in and change the size of this make it larger, extra large there, looks good. Then down below, maybe I want to include some information about allergens for the puppy. So in this case, no allergens for this dog, great. Bring the image in, of course, uh, we have that for a field in here somewhere as well. So let's find the photo. And we should see my golden retriever staring at us, there he is. And then, you know, what type, if you have different tags, you can turn this on or off, right? Same thing here, rich text on or off, no problem. But the nice thing about this is now we can add as many different fields as we want. So when you add a field, you can select a, a text label. You can then also decide what type of information this is. Is it text, rich text, heading, tag? How do you want this to be displayed? Really nice feature here. So let's say I just wanted to put in uh, some text, text would be fine, and then tell it where that data lives in your database. So again, over here, maybe I want to say what type of animal this is. Bring that in. Ah, it's a dog. Cool. Okay. So maybe uh, in another example, I want to bring in some more stuff. So let's open this up and I could say, uh, let's see, breed. I think I have breed somewhere. Bring that in, give it a moment to refresh. And there we go. So I can, you know, add a little label here. Breed. And then again here, animal type, and you know, pretty straightforward stuff, right? So now we're building a nice robust detail page. We can bring in as many details as we want just by adding these fields. Let me go ahead and publish this app, and then I will flip over to the app that I have open, and we can see that when we click in from the high level, when we click in, it's gonna open up the detail page, and there it has all the most relevant information that I just changed, right? So really nice if I back up and I want to, you know, drill in on my hound over here, you can drill in on Wyatt. And of course he has different stats, different information for his account. So you can get, you get the idea here that you can bring in whatever information to your detail page that you want. All right. Lastly, we need to talk about these new hidden fields that Softer has enabled within their forms. So if you don't already use Softer forms, you can put these on your web app or on your website that you build in Softer and anything, any information that is submitted instantly shows up in your Airtable base, or you can send it wherever you want. 
Zapier, email, MailChimp, you name it. They have a lot of different options, but you can just build this form right inside of the site. And this is of course really nice because it doesn't require that you use a third party form tool in order to embed a form on your website or something like that. So the nice thing about these new hidden fields are we can set certain things to automatically come in with this information. So for example, I've built a little need support question mark down here. And the idea is that somebody can enter their email address, ask a question, and this will create a ticket inside of my Airtable base. And I want that ticket to have the status of new form, right? Or like new request. So I can now do that thanks to the hidden form. And of course, I wouldn't want to put this on the form because I wouldn't want the person to have to choose this is a new request because that's kind of silly. Obviously, from their perspective, it's a new request. But from my perspective, I might have this status field right here and I want my team to see that this is a new request and then I want them to move it to in progress and then move it to resolved once it's all taken care of. So how do we set up this proper softer form? Let's drill into the form itself. So first and foremost, we just add a new block right on our softer app, go into your block and you can choose the form option here. And then there are a number of different forms that you can pick from Add any one of these. And then inside of your form, you can, you know, customize what information you're bringing in here. Now I should point out that the tag for this form has to exactly match the Airtable database that you want to write that to. And I'll get to that here at the end here. That's really what happens when the form is submitted. So first build your form, give it the uh, type of data that you're, you know, collecting in that field, give it a label, give it a placeholder. And of course, if you want to sync it with your Airtable, you want to make sure this tag exactly matches your field name. Do that for whatever fields you want to have visible and then add as many hidden fields as you'd like as well. So in this case, it's a hidden field type and this value is new, new request. And that is the status that I want to have filled out here when this automatically comes in, right? I want it to start off automatically at new request. So go ahead and set that up. And again, make sure that this is the name of your field. If you are writing this data directly to Airtable, then come down here, find the submit, you know, action. So this is what's going to happen when they click that button. In this case, the action I chose was send to Airtable, but you see, you get a lot of different options here. Once you've decided to send to Airtable, you also have to then include your Airtable API information. You can get this information by clicking on your API for your particular database and table. Softer's put together a lot of great resources that'll walk you through this very thing. So then what happens is without even needing to build an automation in Zapier or anything else, when this form gets submitted, it's going to automatically populate a new request ticket in my contacts tickets database here, right? So let's go ahead and test that out. Here's my app. I'm going to go back out here to my, uh, my list and here's my support question. So I can enter in test at test.com and example question. Submit this. We're going to get a green checkbox. It says it worked. And if I flip back over here, I automatically get that new request. So in this case, my team, you know, if I had a support team, they could work on this, track this to in progress and move it through the process. So it automatically came in with that new request, which is beautiful. So hidden forms are a huge feature that software just added. And I'm really excited to have them here. Let me know in the comments below which of these new features you're the most excited about and I will catch up with you soon. As always, I hope you found that to be extremely helpful. If you did and you'd like to learn more, swing by our website and see how we can help. We offer a free Airtable crash course that will help you level up in Airtable quickly and we also have some paid services, including hourly consultations with our experts. We have some online courses and a group coaching program. And for advanced needs, we can build a bespoke solution for you from scratch. So swing on by, and I look forward to connecting with you soon.